Wait, top 10 custom moves. <gasps> Players will need to be ready to deal with some seriously powerful gimmicks. Old content is funny. Ganondorf becomes a different beast with customs on, and Wizard's Dropkick is arguably the biggest reason. It gives Ganondorf oh, yeah. two things he's sorely lacked. He recovers option, like crazy, dude. Option. Allows him greater you. combos out of down throw, Bro, and a way to intercept opponents quickly. He's magical! As he's like on a surfboard! Low angle. Look at him go! It's so cool! Does it edge cancel? It has I don't minimal know. end lag as is, Nerd. and if you use near the edge of the How stage, do you even know what that the dropkick will edge cancel, meaning it will have no lag. Oh, it does. It does, actually. I, I remembered that. I forgot. Back throws, which turn Ganondorf so he is not facing the stage, will not allow him to recover with the dropkick, as it cannot be reversed. Ooh, interesting. Notable examples include Pikachu, Captain Falcon, dude, and Sonic's Dude, this dude back knows throws. his stuff. I would never thought of that. Power Vision. Shulk. Oh, Shulk's sh standard vision counter is already Big ass insane. counter! The power vision is just over the top ridiculous. Boom! There's not a lot of in-depth analysis behind I, this what's move. What's the point of not it using this, you dude? It's just it. a strong ass counter. Countering weak moves or projectiles. Yeah, he died at 50. Yep. Should have gone low. Combined with even Tragic. just the standard. It gets crazy weak after one or two. One is all you need. Jumbo Hoop. We Fit Trainer. Jumbo Hoop allows Wii Fit Trainer to put on easy damage got in a variety of situations hoops. with just one move. Has a ton of Bro. hitboxes which all do 6% each Whoop. and does massive damage. The Bro, trainer what is even easy is that move? Damage. She's just a loop master. Hoop, I don't know. There isn't much you can do but just take the damage and move on. They're toys! It has massive range and priority. How does she do Not all three? Not many moves three? can beat out the amount of active hitboxes That's in Jumbo impressive. Hoop. However, it is punishable. <laughs> The move actually Where? has a ton Where of landing is it lag if Wii Fit decides to land on the stage close to Dude, her opponent. Okay, that's so, cute. That the way she lands, she's like, all done! That's adorable. Ta-da! She sticks the landing. Although Diddy's peanut does not stop the attack, most projectiles <laughs> in the game will. So keep this in mind. Okay, I was gonna say, you can't beat it with that. Enjoy like... your gold medal in women's hockey, oh wait. Is that Canada posting? Oh, they won it last night? Rocket Barrel uh, attack. Canada winning hockey isn't yes. a big deal. A boom. Going lucky is one of the best custom moves in the game. Sorry, guys. I don't care if Canada Rocket wins Barrel hockey. You can have it. Strong White people sport. Comes out extremely fast, has massive range, <laughs> and has so much kill power. Blast off! Unfair. Do it. Boom! It's just walked. Yeah, actually, wait a minute. Usually moves with long-lasting <laughs> hitboxes have a weak hit, but not Rocket Barrel that attack. That move is hilarious. I want to play custom moves right now. One of the most fun things I've ever done on stream. Oh my god, I forgot about this. I did a Smash 4 stream where I did viewer battles, but we both picked random characters with random custom moves. So you didn't know what you would have. Because Dr. Mario would show up and you'd be like, what do I do with him? And then you throw out the pill and it just goes, Brr. <laughs> Blast. Oh no. A boom. <laughs> Make sure to ban stages with low ceilings like Halberd and Delfino Diddy Island. rules, dude. Oh, that's it? Let me know oh, what you thought wow. about the video. What a fast movie. I wonder what the so top five tornado, are. Dr. Mario. Dude, he has this now. This is Soaring his normal move. Is a That's crazy. Move. Something about this animation is so funny to me. It looks so triumphant. Like, in Ultimate, it looks like he's fighting, but in this, he's just like, yes. He looks so happy. Unbelievable priority and a ridiculous hitbox. <laughs> Look at Big Head Mario. He looks like somebody in a Mario suit. This animation has a massive That animation was and so funny, dude. Through. Oh my god. Because of this, it has a lot of applications. He's just magical at the end. He just garden. bursts. Depending on how much you mash down B, Dr. <laughs> Mario will fly by either very high or not that high. I which love means this it can be used game. to cover both the high I and low recovery options. I love this fucking option. game. It doesn't look real. This was in a real Nintendo game. Oh my god. Another great perk of the move is that if done correctly, it will auto cancel. He's magical. Dash slash Bowser. This move gives Bowser mm, one of the best approach yep. options in the game he and much moved. needed mobility. It can be used as a powerful tool to cross That's up. That's the thing about customs, dude. They just made the game like goofy fun. It should never have been competitive. We should have skipped this game. We should have played Bowser this once and be like, ah, nah, never mind. Never mind. Play the next happens. one. Why did they get rid of custom moves after Evo? Because everybody complained about it. Everybody hated it. Right now, if something happens in Ultimate, you'll get a Twitter thread with people complaining, and you might see change. If something happened back then, it needed to be really bad. So, like, how Duck Hunt got banned. Wait, yeah, I'm a melee guy. Why is Duck Hunt banned? Oh, not the character. Uh, Duck Hunt the character isn't banned. The stage. Duck Hunt looks like this. Uh, this used to be a legal stage. Um, big, flat, basically like an FD. You could jump on this platform. Uh, you could... There's a dog that comes up that can lift you up. The problem is 
uh, you could just go up on the tree and camp the shit out of it. The funniest thing about this stage, though, is sometimes you would be in a position where you could charge a smash on somebody because they were vulnerable, and the dog would save them. I don't even know how to search for that, but it was so fucking funny. I can't believe this was legal. This is a serious tournament for money. Oh, this. The first duck that you hit, that's where the dog will show up. All right, and Soul seems like he's going to aim to do this here. Um, try to use the dog to try to get up to this top platform. Oh, boy. All right, raise the dog. <laughs> Raises up to kill with this aerial. aerial though. It didn't even kill? Wait, that didn't even kill. What the hell is this moment? Look at him move, dude. It's just a battle tank with a Ferrari engine. Look at that. Ooh. Overall, the amount of versatility oh, the dash flash gives it. is just amazing. Why he didn't have to do that. You could have just down beat. <laughs> Why did he do that? Timber counter, villager. With this his move was aerials. obnoxious, dude. You just stand Except behind it, controls the and people have to jump over it, and you just camp out his opponents. Yep, you just pelt them. Constant slingshots. The sapling will trip you even if you're using a move, and it beats out pretty much every move in the game that makes contact with it. How is it possible to beat this? Uh, many did not. Many have fallen to this. Also, what they would do is they would put it down over here and then just start planking with uh, exploding balloons. So you would be next to the sapling. You can't challenge it. You can't do anything with it. It doesn't do a lot of damage if chopped down, and although it has a mini counter-effective hit, it's much better to just use the It sapling. has a counter-effective hit? Although it has a mini counter-effective hit, <laughs> it's much okay, better to just that. use the sapling. I didn't even know you could grow the tree. What stage villager I thought it was just do. a plant. Lightweight. Palutena. Oh, she becomes uh, Lightweight is a yeah. passive buff that makes Palutena a literal goddess. Well, I forgot, way, she Palutena becomes small me brawler, so she just moves like crazy. It was crazy because Palutena was ass in this game, but in the customs bracket, she became a real character. There was one Palutena player that did anything, vicious. and I don't even remember his name. Lightweight it was so that she can down throw to up air pretty much No, there were two. There were three. Percent. Prince Ramen, and it's completely Arrow Wing, or Arrow something, and Arrow Link. No, there was a third one. TLTC. That's it. Those three. In the history of Palutena in Smash 4, there are three. It is very hard to control Palutena while she is in lightweight. Yeah, I tried this so before, fast, and I just kept dying. I don't think <laughs> she was too fast. Players. You can't go for spikes. Before she just falls. One custom move, here's some moves that just barely didn't make the list. But I've told you guys my Sonic story, right? I'll tell it again. I have a story about this move. So, uh, Smash at Xanadu is happening. It's some big monthly tournament. And a lot of people are coming from all over. I'm very excited for the customs bracket, right? Because there's Small Me Brawler, and I love Small Me Brawler. He's my favorite character. He's so fun to play, whatever. So I enter the tournament, and I win my first round, no problem. My second round is against a player from North Carolina. Uh, the player's name is Furf. Never heard of them. But we go to play, and he's like, oh my god, Coney, I'm a huge fan. And I think in my head, uh, I... I feel like this guy is probably not very good. I just think he's a fan. Whatever. We'll, we'll play the game. Uh, we sit down. I lock in Small Me Brawler. He picks Sonic the Hedgehog. And already I'm like, okay, it's a little worrisome. Whatever. I'll deal with it. Not a big deal. He did not engage the entire eight minutes. Furf was committed to win. And never before have I felt this whiplash of, like, true hubris, right? It's immense cockiness. It's like, oh, yeah, this guy's nice. He's, he's, he's young. He probably, you know, he, this is his first tournament, whatever. Into crushing despair. Because I'm pretty sure he could have just beat me straight up, but he didn't. And it wasn't even like he was a sadist, like, deriving joy out of it. Because he was a nice guy, I think. I don't know him, but he seemed very nice, but he literally was not engaging. The only thing that he did was hammer Here's spin dash, which does me. this. It's a move that immediately pops up and puts you in the ground. All he did was jump around doing this and standing on the other side of the stage over and over and over. Now I, I can't trust anyone. Literally everybody I sit down to play, I'm like... I, I, I don't know. I've been burned before. I treat everybody like they have a gun in their holster, right? My innocence was lost there. <laughs> that move's crazy. That move is nonsense. He got top eight, I think. 
This is the same bracket. Leaf is also using Small B Brawler, and look at how fast that character is. Good lord. Look at him go. He might as well be Sonic, right? Furf does not want to fight. He's up being. He's escaping. Side to side. You see this? That was me. I was this me brawler, except I was worse, so I didn't know how to deal with it. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> oh god, heavy skull bash. Yeah. Yeah. Pikachu would just kill you instantly. Number one is Wing Kong, right? It has to be Wing Kong. Have you guys seen Wing Kong? You have not? I, I have to show you this. This is so funny. I would love to be the first person to show you this. Every customs tournament ended with Donkey Kong versus Donkey Kong. Damn, they're actually playing the game. I'm shocked. Okay, uh, nah, nah, Eventually, it devolves there. into this. Right yep, there you go. It's just... There you go. Yep, up B. Another up B. Big up B. Up air. Catch him landing. That, you know what would have worked there? An up B. Big up B. <laughs> up B. Yep, good up B. Yep. Up B. Yep, excellent punish. Not bad. Up B. I like it. He got pushed so far, he got knocked off the screen. He Landing. got pushed off the set. <laughs> it was so funny. Donkey Kong was just the master of wind in this game for no reason. As long as you don't let DK go into free fall, the uppy will cancel with no lag, making it very <laughs> difficult to punish. Why did he However, spin? Bro, that beat no Falcon lag, kick from making above? Making it very difficult to punish. <laughs> I did not know that. I thought you could beat it head on. Lag, Why did it have making super it very armor? Difficult to punish. What were they thinking? The However, air Kong defense. Cyclone isn't as invincible as it looks. The wind Often is his ally. Often you have opportunity to act while stuck in the cyclone. What Here's a an funny character, bro. Trapped. I I literally labbed to fight this move. <laughs> it's embarrassing to stay, say now. I actually labbed out this move how to fight it. You have to do an air dodge into neutral air, and it worked once, and then he would just do it again. The move does not have super armor at the very end or start of the animation. No, that's risky. Bro, super armor what if he threw her start? off stage? She could die here. The animation. <laughs> like, if she kept going? Knowing the timing is key. Donkey Kong is ruthless. Just be wary of the fact that Kong Cyclone that's a big can flower. weird things. That's an obnoxiously large flower. Ugh. I, I want to play custom so bad right now. I It looks so fun, dude. Watch the top 10 worst custom moves. I might actually. <laughs> worst customs is funny, though, because it's just big versions of moves. <laughs> Bro, what's crazy is that this looks like such a shitty roster now. Where are the characters? Where are all the characters? There's nobody here. <laughs> Why is Politana dead ahead? Everybody else has an angle. Politana isn't even, like, being cute or has any sort of uh, expression or anything. She's just people stare. Melee charge shot, Samus. Melee? No, not that oh, kind of melee. Okay. Melee meaning she's traded away her projectile I, for a I was like, wait, attack. what? Isn't it the same? So what does she gain for doing this? Well, the only benefit I can see is that melee charge shot has less charge time. Otherwise, it has more end lag. Damn, that looks damage, cool. It doesn't even kill any earlier. But it feels good to hit, I bet. Landing that boom. Does less you should just be vaporized if you get hit by that. You shouldn't get blasted. You just poof. Heavy veggie is so Big heavy veggie. that it goes almost <laughs> nowhere when Peach throws it. This makes it almost useless. It's to not even that much bigger. Yes, it does. I love the more big moves. And more like the big projectiles are one, so funny in this game. Who cares if you can't game. even reach your opponent? Garlic breath, Wario. Ew. If you actually get hit by the breath, it will <laughs> stun you for a long time. But considering how long Can it takes I see to it in real time? and how little range it has, Let me see you really it. shouldn't ever get hit by this move. Boom! You <laughs> can do a decent job covering ledge get up, but. Like in every other situation, <laughs> regular Chomp just does it better. Bro, what? That is the really funniest move in the game. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, I love that. Regular Chomp just does it I better. love that, dude. He breathes into your mouth. That is kind of gross. Wario's nasty. Lazy Shuttle Loop, Meta Knight. Lazy? This is where <laughs> things start to get really whoa, bad. Whoa, <laughs> The double U. Once you turn this custom move on, Meta Knight goes from good to complete <laughs> garbage. The first loop has no hitbox, so by the time See, your this is why random customs were so funny. Because you wouldn't even try this until you were going for the up B to kill. So you would, like, do your normal combo, dash tack, up air, up air, and then you would do that. 
You'd be like, what that, is that? Just By the way, hands. we need this back. I love Miiverse. I love Miiverse so much, dude. This is one of my favorite stages in any game. The the things that would come up on Miiverse were so funny, I would cry. <laughs> I'd be playing a normal match with friends, and I'd be like, what the fuck is that? Nazi memes next to Zelda hentai. I, I, you could come up, you could see anything. And it really did depend on the character you picked. Because, like, if you picked Pikachu, it's probably fine. You get cute pictures of Pikachu, him with kawaii eyes, or things like that. If you picked, like, I don't know, Bayonetta, Diddy Kong, Ike, you're getting weird. Zero Suit, yeah, yeah. Rosalina, you are screwed. I wish Ike was real. Oh, there it is. Dude, I was just talking about this. Yeah, see? Yep. Everybody wants Ike. I, you, you just know. He's one of those characters. Thirsty as hell for Ike. Number two, Feore's windfall, on the other hand, is so bad it almost boggles the mind. The second hit Not of the upbeat mine. doesn't launch you, but it spikes, which doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> the default upbeat kills very early. What? Why? This version Why doesn't kill until spike? very high percent. Number early. one, Spinfinny. Even if your opponent does get hit by the attack, you won't send them anywhere. <laughs> what does that say? And what? the move has more end lag than all of Chief's moves combined. <laughs> If you ever use Spinfinny at any point in any match, Spinfinny in looks any stage, so funny in you're a free for all though. Punished. You're just sitting in the middle of the stage singing. Everybody else is getting lightly staggered. <laughs> That's pretty good. Good movie. God, I love custom moves. I'll drop a like on that.